Are you ready for Puppy Cam? Welcome on in to Starship Troopers Terran Command Raising Hell, a fiery edition. Learn to die. This one's called Wilson. He's a very good boy. He's very small. And this one's called Teddy. He's a much better boy. Rumi's- Oh, that's so much fun! You know what? Fuck, fuck, Balloonie. Sorry, I'm doomed. I, I was going with Rumi's Racketeers because of, uh, because obviously, you know, mercenaries, all that kind of stuff. But I have to switch it to Rumi's Roughnecks. <laughs> Balloonie Sandwich, thank you for that. That's fucking hilarious. All right. All right, boys, listen up. It's FedNet time. Vylon Station, a major commercial hub operated by Hephaestar Corporation, orbits the planet of Gehenna. While rich in the elements that fuel galactic trade and transportation, this hell world is an extremely hostile environment. Among streams of molten lava and volcanic ash storms, human civilization faces an even greater threat, arachnids. Vylon Station Director Rhea Patel has appealed to the Sky Marshal for help, and her call has been answered. A detachment of mobile infantry has arrived to help our valued corporate ally with their <laughs> bug problem. Give them hell, troopers. Valued corporate ally. All right. Fall in. We're not here for R&R. &R. I love this. Oh, they were chatting up the station crew. I see. Oh, fellas. Fellas, don't you know? Be fruitful and uh, and multiply. Come Let's on, go. we need more recruits. Why do you think they mix our showers, fellas? Oh. All right. Okay. Now, hold on just a second. This... Bugs. How did they get on board? This is an aliens plot. Firefighters are actual units? No. Oh, that's so cool that you actually get firefighters. I love rumor that you gave me so much enthusiasm. I mean... Start running here. I'll be honest, I am a, a, I'm a generally a pretty harsh critic when it comes to stuff, but it's why... It's, it's kind of when I get games like this. Games that I truly Mercenary adore and love rebel. and I can see. That explains a lot. Like, look at this. Look at all the little detail. Like, the guys running around, like, the RTS. It's the fact that it's an RTS, but they care enough Move to do shit like this. Look, there's, like, a greenhouse. And the civilians working in the greenhouse. Like, how cool is this shit? This is so not needed for the game. That them, like, you know, making civilians patrol around to make them pretend as if they're farming. This is the sort of shit I'd see in, like, a Warcraft 3 custom map from years ago, you know? I love this stuff. Captain Zhao. You've arrived just in time. There are arachnids on your station, ma'am. I need to call this in to Terran Command. That won't be necessary, Captain. I have a more urgent concern right now. There are fires that are broken out on the maintenance levels. Hey, fellas. Open this door for us. We'll handle whatever's in there. Oh, no, you mean that door, right? Sorry, I got... <gasps> no! How oh, I see them? No! Get out of there. I mean, we could kind of see that one coming. What are they getting hit by? With me. We got this. All right. Good job, yes, fellas. Sir. What Move the fuck? Oh, these are stingers. Right. These are the new enemies. Little ranged combat guys that are kind of weak. Oh, I say as one of my guys viciously dies. Torn apart by the bug menace. All right. Bugs. Oh. What's going are those on mercs? here? Keep walking, fed man. You didn't see this. What? Pacified arachnids? What are they doing down here? Did he just call I me fed man? <laughs> right now, the station's safety is our priority. <laughs> I'm fucking destroyed. How do I recover from this? Oh. oh, okay, we're good, we're good. So we are also playing on challenging, by the way, uh, which is the second hardest. Oh, fucking, that is the worst position they could have come out of. Poor firefighters just stuck here. Like, engaged in a combat operation now while they have nothing but fucking fire extinguishers. The station's secure again. You can continue your deployment to Gehenna. I saw bugs under the control of your mercenaries. What exactly are you people doing here? Hmm. Did the Sky Marshal brief you on any classified operations being conducted here, Captain? No, ma'am. Then that's because he decided you don't need to know. You're here to follow my orders and kill bugs. Understood? Yes, ma'am. 
Uh oh. Troopers, gear up and board your boats. We're going down to the surface. I actually really like this guy. I like our little leader. He's a cool dude. Also, the mission design here is amazing. I w really thought the mission would have just ended downstairs and they'd do this as a cutscene, but they're actually doing this like in the drop, sh like in the in the game rather. It's time for the Fed Nets. Industrial expansion on planet Gehenna is guided by scientific expeditions into the hellish landscape. These undertakings to collect samples from the volcanic soil are under constant arachnid threat. <laughs> but now the mobile infantry has commenced operations on the planet and will safeguard its people. Oh shit! Oh, a sting! Oh, they shoot out of the stinger nest as well. Yes. This Bro, their fucking nest has turrets! We need to speed up the operation. I'm sending in a group of our contractors to handle the northern sites. Oh, hell yeah, they get purple names? With respect, ma'am. The mobile infantry can handle the mission objectives. Relax, fed man. Ha ha ha! to go round. You stay out our way, and we'll stay out yours. I love that Troopers, he calls me fed up. man. <laughs> Let's show them the MI gets things done. Wait, is this like a race? Move out. Oh my god, it is a race. Okay, frag mercs, shotguns, rifle mercs, rifle mercs. Oh, that's just, that's just fucking cool. All right, boys. Let's show them how it's done. Oh god, this may be the end before we've even begun. Oh shit, because it's a fucking bug tunnel. Oh, that's why. Direct command to go. No, this is- we're done, Zo. Fucking hell! Oh, I'm capturing it! There we go. Alright. Yes, so I'm gonna back Can't these fellas off. Oh okay. my god, yes! Request reinforcements! Lava guys- okay. Oh, this is gonna be unfortunate, isn't it? Wait, it's gonna kill my guys. No. No, it is, it is. Alright. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we lost two guys in the fucking lava geyser. My men have collected another soil sample. Try to keep up. Fed no, it's all right. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Just give me time. All right, I'm getting into my groove. I'm starting to cook. I see the second prospector has been activated. That's valuable Hephaestar property. Keep it protected. Kill these guys. Woo! Holy shit. There we go. Love that ability. Oi, oi! You get off of that fucking thing! Real fucking Starship Troopers extermination moment. Get off my extractor! Captain Zhao reporting. We have encountered a large bug hive at the last site. Yeah, this guy's dead. That must be the source of all arachnid activity in the sector. You'll have to clear it out. This is now the mission priority. Understood. Very well. We'll get the job done. Oh, so I guess the mercs are coming from the other side. Oh, this is an awesome arena. So instead of actually being a race to the final thing, the mercs are coming from the north, I'm coming from the west, and we have to kill the hive. That's cool as hell. Just hit this dude with a grenade and go past. I've got to get to the hive before they do. Upper caves cleared. But there's an extensive tunnel network leading deep into the mountains. God, that was an awesome little battle. Holy shit. A hive this large will require substantial reinforcements to fully exterminate. We've got a unit under attack. I've got new techs on my team, Director. Give me a couple of warheads, and I'll have that place lit up within the hour. Wait, you have nuke techs, but not Very the nukes? Well. <laughs> I'll extend your contract to cover destroying the hive. Captain Zhao. Your troops can stand down for now. <laughs> All right. Uh, Jeffrey sent me this in DMs. Here we go, chat. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know, Fed Man? Welcome to FedNet. Planet Gehenna, where the where cowardly bugs hide go? beneath the surface, building hives to block vital mining activity. Extensive networks of bug tunnels stretch out deeply below the volcanic mountains. Oh my god. To wipe them out for good, every bug hole needs to be swept clean with lead and determination. Ah, the only good bug hole is a swept bug hole. I just don't like having a good deal screwed up by jarheads. These feds like to take over anything that's not their business. I can handle Zhao. Rest assured, your contract is still secure. The mercenaries carry weapons are most effective against medium armored targets and can fire fragmentation rounds in shotgun mode, awesome, or canister grenades in grenade mode. Wow, they are short ranged though. Spray. Nothing we can't what seems to be the problem? 
All right, go grenades. Let's see. The grenades are all right, but the, the strength is definitely in the shotguns. God damn. <laughs> oh, one of the voice lines is, we've got a firing solution. That's fucking hilarious. Oh, I bet you're flexible, babe. Uh, hello. Hi. Hello, guys. Let me... You guys... Not your, not your problem? Not part of your paycheck? Understood. I respect that. I'm waiting for this singular bug that left them alone to come find me. Sure thing. We're flexible. Oh, there he is. That's him. I'm really glad the DLC is already uh, committing to being harder than the base game. Oh, no. I say as one of my mercs gets fucking geysered. Uh, but no, I'm, I'm happy it's committing to being harder than the base game because that's one of my main issues with like uh, little games like this. Honestly, with the campaign was... Until the final missions, the game was getting a little easy. Uh, and then the final missions came around and the game got very fucking hard again, which was great, which is what I like. Here comes the so the DLC party. giving a similar Keep level of challenge is very fun. Oh god, the stingers! They hit so... These shotgunners unfortunately need like a move when being attacked, you know, into, into the shotgun range kind of button. Alright, holy shit. Good. Give me some fucking mines. Let's start laying these things. The losses there are rough. Oh, shit! Uh-oh. Well, pff, fucking killed one of my own guys. Check the area. All right. No! I should have seen that one coming. Well... <laughs> That was my bad. Oh no, they're back! Oh, that was... Oh, where, you guys got lost? That was so weird. It was crazy how you guys went down a different tunnel. I think we wait here and we hold the line. Oh my god, that kills so many bugs. Those mines are amazing. Fraser, I'm receiving your signal and our scanners are detecting three active nuclear devices. Are they ready for detonation? Yeah, they're all set and we're still kicking. <laughs> Good thing Hephaestar's got deep pockets. <gasps> Fednet! Dragon Island, specifically <laughs> located in a lake of lava, oh my was God. recently overrun by arachnids. Valuable industrial facilities were lost, and hellish monstrosities have since nested in their oh, ruins. Fuck. The place has become a launch point for bug attacks on surrounding facilities. But now, with the arrival of the mobile infantry, it is time to take back Dragon Island. Oh, this is gonna suck. We have two frag mercs, and then we have combat engineers, and we can build HMD turrets again. Yes. Fraser, I'm talking oh. to you now on a private side channel. Oh dear. Got another bug collecting job? <laughs> I'll let you know when the client's ready to receive the merchandise. Are you guys? Oh. Okay, I thought they wouldn't do that anymore. All right, I thought that. I seem to recall in the base game that they would always walk around fire grenades. I guess I have to be careful about that because they walk into them. Whoops. There's the bumping stations. I need you to switch them back on. I need a fucking dropship full Juice of reinforcements. And... And there'll be a healthy bonus <laughs> for everyone to get back online. Ah. Uh. All I needed to hear. Now that we're starting to face like hordes of bugs in the open, I'm starting to grow on the grenade frag guys because they do actually do a decent amount of splash damage. Thank you. Activate charge. Three, two, one. Gather my boys together. Let's see pyroflies. Can we see what these are? Sprays target area with burning substance. They're a flying arachnid that can hover and spray an area with a burning substance. Due to its thick exoskeleton, it's difficult to destroy with standard rifle fire. That's probably what the shredder is going to be used for. Are we able to even engage them with any? Oh, fuck! Some new kind of bug. Nothing we can't. We call them pyroflies. We're gonna pull back. Nasty sons of bitches, ain't they? No worries, Fed. We got the weapons and know-how to deal with them. Fire starter, hose the arrow in center rounds to light it on fire. Can't clear hives. Minigun overheats in tripod mode. Uh, fixes shredder in positioning, significantly increases range, accuracy, and rate of fire. It can't fire at aerial targets when deployed on the tripod. And then Stimpak is boost. All right. 
How much do you bitch? <laughs> I like his voice line. Uh, if you don't know, by the way, I play Halo Mythic Nothing over on Warpug's happen. channel. I play Turner Silver, who is unironically seven foot. He carries a giant machine gun with a tripod that I keep losing. Uh, I am the heavy weapon specialist of our Marine squad. Halo Mythic is the uh, the Halo t t uh, sorry, tabletop RPG, and it's very fun. Thank you, Zam. There you go. Catch those streams over on twitch.tv slash warpugs. It says can't shoot at aerial targets, but that is just not true. All right, so they can definitely engage aerial targets even with the tripod on. I'm glad because that was kind of annoying. That was definitely limiting my fun of using the shredders. Oh my fucking God, it's a volcano. All right. I like the fleet liaison says that. All right, let me test out this real quick, even though there's no one there. I'm just gonna try fire starter. We Holy shit! Oh, this is gonna be cool, because I can just leapfrog these shredders to keep each other shredder supported as I advance. Oh, now this is a much better advance. The Dragon Island facilities are back in our hands. Ooh. I'm already sending a commendation for you to the Sky Marshal's office. Thank you, ma'am. We're God. just here to do our duty. God, that's nice. All Return right. Return to the station for rest and debriefing. Yeah, the new engine, the new flame grenades are more powerful, but they're also way more of a threat to me. Oh man! Oh wait, what? Mr. Fraser. Mission isn't over. Bug collecting time. Now that the choir boy's gone. Oh. Specimens in the small mountain hive. Sending you the location now. Risky work, this. Oh. Maybe we need to renegotiate our deal. Don't get greedy. You're not the only force at my disposal now. <laughs> the MI? You want them to know what you're doing with the bugs? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't think so. I love this guy. <laughs> All right. All right. I bet we're gonna have to escort a fucking arachnid out of here. Let's see. Do we? Yes, we do. Got him. Where you want him? Wow. The client sent a ship to take delivery of them. Interesting. Sedated bugs. The pheromone carrier. Oh my god, but the bugs do just genuinely move around, like they're their own unit. Come on. Ready for nothing we can. Cargo delivered. There we go. Need to keep them better contained this time. Lucky for us, Choir Boy was there last time to clean up that mess. Hellworld Gehenna. Under cover of an ash storm, the infernal bugs have launched a major assault down from the volcanic mountains. To hold the line, the Sky Marshal has personally ordered more mobile infantry be sent to this vital planet. Woo! Hang on, Gehenna. The good guys are coming. The Immolator ejects an incendiary substance that burns through flesh with ease. It's known to burst into flames when mortally wounded, causing it to charge forward before exploding in a big ball of fire. They must be approached with excessive firepower, or preferably with armored units to absorb the fire and shockwave. Someone get on that biped! It's what we need to take on these immolator bugs! Yes! Ooh, alright. Engineering biped, let's see. Uh, it will gradually repair damage to the biped, but reduces movement and attack speed. Amazing. Drilling arm can deal significant damage. They're resilient. Uh, so these resilient bipeds are most useful to protect uh, more vulnerable assets against enemy fires and attacks. Dirty fumes. This idles the biped and generates a thick black smog. Anything caught within this asphyxiating cloud will be suppressed. That's hilarious. And then fire trail. Drops a trail of fire. Oh, it can build defensive turrets as well. Oh, nice. Doesn't block a uh, friendly fire. Is immune to fire damage and cannot clear hives. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Good. Okay, thank god he's immune to that, basically. It is the, uh, engagement range, I think. I really like that! I, I need my shotgunners to have this. Give me more of this. This is a great little ability. Also, this biped's fucking awesome. I'm a killing machine. Uh... Patel, you there? Oh, thank god! The skies are clear. And you owe us a whole bunch of bonus payments. Understood. 
I'm sending mobile infantry reinforcements to your position now. Oh, thank God. What do you have for us? Pays the bills. Oh my god, okay. Let's show these MI new arrivals how we kill bugs in the private sector. <laughs> Sir, Intel fuck, I love that. Firewall, go! Look at him, he's just deploying his wall of fire. You legend. Thank you, alright. You can stand down now, Fraser. I'm sending oh. Captain Shao and further mobile infantry forces to take over from you and your people. Oh, alright. The dropships will bring you back to the station. You serious? Pack up and let the feds take over? When the battle isn't done yet? The mobile infantry are a highly skilled military force. <laughs> yeah, and they don't cost you anything. Unlike us. I've made my decision. Return to the station. Ah, oh, it's Fednet! We're driving back the bugs on Gehenna. The mobile infantry has put a halt to the arachnid offensive and are taking back what is ours. A key refinery remains bug infested, but not for long. With Good. newly arrived reinforcements, we finally got the strength to wipe them out. Time to smash the bugs and turn the fuel tap back on. I like how the FedNet never mentions the mercenaries. It always focuses on the MI. Like, it never mentions the fact that mercenaries are involved. I like that. The beautiful thing with this, uh, this boy is that we can just wait till we take losses and then just stand still and get reinforced while we're stood here. Plus, the radio operator's dropship call-in is really fucking strong. Bombardiers are back. All right. Yes, Wait, no. Bomber bees, not bombardiers. The what the fuck is a bomber bee? Small flying arachnid would dive into their enemy and detonate on impact. The violent explosion can rip a man in half and punch through armor plating. Oh, fuck. Uh, hey, you look like bomber bees. Oh, my God. Do that. I'm going to have you targeting bomber bees at all Tell priorities because holy shit. All oh, the bomber bees. Yeah, okay, as long as I have someone targeting the bomber bees at all times, they shouldn't be that big of a problem. Fellas, the bomber bees, the bomber bees, fellas, the bomber bees! Oh, God. Now I know how a Russian soldier feels. Okay, he's activating now. The reinforcements showed up just in time. Tell us what to do. Yes, sir. Engineers that. Okay. Where are my radio? My radio ops, what are you doing at the front? Yes, Get the, the fuck back. Promoted, okay, good. Shotguns, go. Look sharp, troopers. Tell us what to do. Sir. All right. Pull in reinforcements again before the drop zone disappears. Holy shit. Okay. Tell us what to do. Wait. This is it. Go! Fucking run! This bug hive won't be a problem now. Captain. Holy now we shit. Can get those bumps back in production again. I suppose that means you're up, Fraser. What? Play babysitter to a bunch of machinery while the feds get all the glory? Screw that. You're paid to do as I say, and my orders are to get production running again. Is that clear? Uh, yes, ma'am. <laughs> Excellent. Maybe we'll make a citizen out of you yet. <laughs> I fucking love Zhao. Oh my god. Isn't there still a hive between us and the mercenaries? Sir, Intel reports a new oh. threat in our sector. Yes. So Why would I not want to deploy the mercenaries? Okay, people. Let's get to the real glamorous task of reactivating. Is this these a two-front battle? This is this is gonna be the weirdest thing that has reminded me of a two-front war. But did anyone else play Advanced Wars Jewel Shock? Or wait, Jewel Jewel Assault, I think, was it? It was the one on the uh, on the Nintendo DS. Jewel Strike! Is it Jewel Strike? I adored that game. I played so much of that. Just walk them full of fire, go! Holy shit. Ready to join in the battle for the transport hub. That won't be necessary. Hold position and ensure those bumps stay running until we've secured this whole sector. This a joke? You hired us to kill bugs, not sit around as your wrench monkeys. 
I never joke, Fraser. Not with company funds on the line. It's just a brief alteration to our contract. The mobile infantry are now our preferred security force. Ouch. You want in on the fight, Merc? Then enlist. Service guarantees citizenship. <laughs> now that you've secured the perimeter, I'll send you the gate codes, Captain. Good I fucking love Zal. I love Zal so much. Our war support Woo! Increases. That's it. Close up the vents. Seal them underground where they belong. God damn, Zal. All right, dude. Yeah, we get it. That's what we're doing. That's the energy we like to see. All right, I think the best way to deal with these bug tunnels at the back is actually just going to be using uh, a shitload of HMGs. Because for every vent I destroy, I can get another, and I can just keep replacing them and keeping them uh, secure. And if I pull my guys up there as well, that's going to be nice. We'll have a little defensive position. Ironically, right next to the enemy hive, but it's actually going to be one of the better defensive positions. Are they going to win? The MI have oh. control of the hub's exterior. Still a significant Ooh. infestation inside, though. All right. Outstanding work, Captain. The Federation and Hephaestus working hand in hand to win this war. Regroup and prepare to enter the facility. Sweep and clear is a specialty of ours. Time for the feds to stand down. We can do this. I'm afraid not. Your people are to stand down, Fraser. This is a mobile infantry operation now. You want to do this? Maybe you should think. I mean really think before you go freezing us out here. Are you threatening me, Fraser? Might I remind you that's a clear violation of contractor? Just maybe, you know, the captain might like to know what the little Hephaestar operation he's taking over really is, hmm? Mm-hmm. Mr. Fraser, you've just given the corporation grounds for an immediate forfeiture of all payments, including outstanding bonuses, as well as an obligation to pass on a legal complaint to the Federation courts. We're done here. Your contracts annulled. Done. Uh oh. oh no. We ain't done. Victory on Gehenna. Bug resistance there has been smashed. Thanks to the effort of our brave uh -oh. troopers. Now the mobile infantry will establish a permanent garrison on the planet to ensure our fuel supplies remain secure. The Festar wants to burn us? Screw that. We'll burn them. We're getting off this damn rock, but not before scooping one last payout, courtesy of the company's very own bug catching tech. Ooh. Let's see what the competition will pay for your secret new tech, Director Patel. I like that the Mercs aren't even like, we're gonna reveal what you're doing so that everyone knows, you evil person. No, the mercs are like, we're going to use what we know to make even more money and then sell it to your competitors for an insane price. Gotta hand it to a Festar. This bug nip is impressive stuff. <laughs> gonna make us all more than enough to retire on. It's fucking bug nip. But that doesn't happen without our merch here. So keep our carrier protected. No! I killed one sedated bug. I want to be real cautious now. I'm really afraid of accidentally fucking barbecuing my, bu my own bugs. Oh, we still don't get any reinforcements. Sad. Where's our ride? He should be here by now. Yes, sir. This way. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Sorry, Mr. Fraser. Your escape plan's not happening. Your pilot's been arrested for theft of company property uh. and will be handed over to the federal judiciary. It remains to be seen what's going to happen to you, though. Everyone really is disposable to you people, huh? Get them to do a job, then screw them over as soon as they're not needed. You want us? Come and get us. Oh, the shit. The Corp thanks you for your services, Mr. Fraser. These security contractors won't listen to reason, Captain. They're now a threat to both what? the Federation. With regret, we'll have to move to the last course of action. Hunt them all down. Merc vermin showing their true colors at last. The MI will bring them to justice, ma'am. Hmm. Good stuff. Ripper volleys, go! I love Ripper volleys. Did I just execute my own squad with a Ripper volley? Whoops. 
I hate Ripper Volleys. I would have actually won that fight if it wasn't for me executing my own squad. Good! Yes! All right. Engineers Come on, there's more of us than there are of them. Somehow. Is the model different? No, I think that's the same model. I will say the flamethrower is a little underwhelming. <laughs> hey, what did you say about airstrike on your position, fellas? <laughs> so one of two things is going to happen. At least, you know, I think the first one is more likely. I think what the most likely thing to happen is we're going to walk up there. We're going to meet the guy. We'll have a bit of a chat where we'll be like, oh, but, 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 you know, oh, how dare you? You know, back and forth, argue with each other. He'll reveal as like a last ditch effort. By the way, they have sedated bugs that, you know, they've mind controlled. Then... Pharrell, uh, you know, uh, Fatel rather, the director will be like, ah, you've found out my plan, and then she'll release the bugs on us, right? That's what I suspect is gonna happen. That's what I suspect, all right? However, what would be kind of insane if they committed to the bit? I don't know necessarily if this is a good ending. It would take a lot of writing to make this, like, feel like a good ending. And I mean, I don't mean it's a good ending in the sense, I mean good ending in the sense of quality, not in the sense of what I'm about to describe. It would be insane, and I think it would also be very appropriate to the universe if we just straight up kill the mercenaries. If we just capture them, kill them, throw them in jail, don't listen to them, just wipe them out. And the ending is like, we did it again with our close allies, Hephaestus and the mobile infantry move forwards into the planet, you know? And it's just straight up like, we're the bad guys. We, we are playing the bad guys. We did the bad guys things for a corporation who is evil and we just straight up did it. Like, <laughs> that would be the most in-universe logical thing to happen, definitely. I, uh, <laughs> like just straight up showing up and we just gun the mercenaries down because we got told to. I, I think that would be insane for them to like write it off and pull it off correctly. But I also think it would be very impressive for them to like, actually commit to not having just a, a good ending where the scrappy good guys end up making it out under the less good guys, you know? We're at the LZ, but no sign of Fraser. Worse people. Yeah, I didn't think it'd wait for us, you know? It's not a very defensible that position. Station's active. <gasps> They're drawing the bugs it's on us. It's a trap! Bugs incoming from the north! Clever boy. Power suited incinerators. They carry advanced flamethrowers which are very effective in close combat and wear powered armored suits, which offer excellent mobility and protection. So no unique abilities, sadly. Fuck, they're quick though. Goodbye, Mark Twos. We'll always remember you. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hey, flee liaison! <laughs> oh wait, she lived. Holy shit. Bro, you just tanked an immolator to the face. They make him different in the fleet. Tracking Fraser and his gang of criminals retreating into the mountains. They cannot be allowed to escape off Gehenna, Captain. All right. This one, this one. What the fuck? Shred a lair. Wake up, Zhao. It's always been about turning a buck. It's why we're here catching bugs for them. But tell the criminal here, not me. Vylon has thousands of Federation eyes on it. There's no way the director would get away with moving uh -oh. bugs through into illegal markets. Ha ha ha. Ain't you been paying attention? It's not rogue buyers paying top dollar for those team bugs. It's your own feds. I don't know why they want them. But I've got some ideas. You're suggesting the Federation would knowingly operate from the shadows? Lie to its people? To citizens? Y yes This can't be right. There's a whole fucking like... <laughs> Oh wait, a shredder lair, right? It's the fucking, it's the machine gun shredder. I see, I see, I see. Um, no, I was gonna say, isn't there like a, a literally like an entire like secretive psionic division in the Federation where they literally scan your brain, my guy? Come in, sweet summer child. Damn, I'll be honest, as cool as it is to fight these guys, they're kind of little bitches. Oh, they're about to kill the Marauder though. Hey, you little bitch. All right. All right, I'll give it to you. That, that's got a little bit of balls on you. Knocking out the Marauder. Time to make a choice, Zhao. I can cut you in with what we've got here. Oh, my God. We can both leave Hephaestar and the Federation behind. I was really hoping I could have the fucking Marauder fight the, uh, the thing. You'll make more here than you ever will on an MI salary. Hmm. The Federation don't care about you anyway. Wrong. 
The Federation looks after its citizens, and Hephaestar and the other corporations are our loyal partners in this war. You're nothing but a money-hungry criminal and liar. Uh-oh. And I've heard enough of your lies. Uh-oh. Wow! It's done. No survivors. You were right about Fraser. He wouldn't give up. Regrettable, but I was right! You've done well, Captain. I was right! We my my second ending was true! The Sky Marshal has promoted you to permanent garrison commander here. Do victory, Captain, and through you and I, a successful partnership between the Federation and her Fester Also, he got promoted to bus. garrison commander. That's basically like getting shoved off into being nowhere. Poor guy. All right. Well, I think, is that the end of the campaign? I cannot believe I called that. Bugs, vicious, feral <laughs> beasts. But like any other beast, they can be captured and studied. A promising research program under Colonel Jenkins is probing new ways to understand <laughs> bug behavior so that one day they can be subdued, perhaps even controlled. Are you looking to invest in a better tomorrow? Consider Hafesta Corporation, the industrial giant that keeps the galactic economy flourishing. Our fleet of star transporters and refueling hubs form an essential backbone of commercial space travel and transportation. Hephaestar, forging forward throughout the galaxy. <laughs> Hephaestar Corporation shares are officially warranted by the United Citizen Federation government. All right, I got to give credit to them. I did not think that they were going to commit to that. I thought they were going to give me a choice where I could, like, go with him or not. And then he'd have, like, one of two endings. I thought they were going to give me, like, you know, maybe he would just go with him or something. But no, they actually played it straight. And genuinely, I think this is why this game slaps so hard. Because it knows how to play it straight. That's so fucking awesome. That's great that it's like, cause this is exactly the, the thing with the, you know, the Federation. It, it, you know, fucking uses you up and tosses you out kind of thing. So the fact that Frasier doesn't get away with it, gets fucking executed by the loyalist, you know, the blind eyed loyalist who is a good guy by all amounts. He is just a really nice guy. But <laughs> when that nice guy kind of like, I am just trying to be a good guy and serve the Federation comes up against a, hey, here's the Federation being bad. He sides with the Federation over that, you know? Holy shit, that has balls. To commit to that as your ending? I like it. I think they did it well as well. I'm honestly like, that's the sort of ending that could very easily piss people off. I have no doubt some people are gonna hate that ending. I think, I think honestly, a lot of people are not gonna like that ending. Uh, well, I mean, a lot more than usual, at least. Just because, you know, oh, it's my, it's my, my guy didn't get out. You know, I, I couldn't side with the mercenaries. I wish they let me side with the mercenaries. Well, that's not the point. That's not the story, you know. Uh, honestly, very fun campaign. That DLC was so much fun. And I really hope they make more. Because that shows that they can tell a really detailed story in just a couple of missions. And, like, everything that went on there was fascinating. You had, like, the bug kind of... Oh, what's going on with the bugs? Oh, they're actually being sold at the Federation. Oh, you know, like you've got like the, the multi-front missions where you swap in and out uh, between, what do you call it? Between the Mercs and the MI back and forth. Both of the, uh, okay, Patel is just a horrible piece of shit, but I mean, she's meant to be. Uh, but Frasier and Zhao were both likable, which is impressive that they made a situation where you had two like smart Alec kind of, commanders of their own army, you know, you know, kind of gung-ho commanders, and yet both of them managed to shit-talk each other, and yet you never really sided on one over the other. You know, it was, it was never like, oh, Frasier's way funnier than Zhao, way better, whereas Zhao, you know, is way better than Frasier. You never have that moment. So, holy shit, that was fucking awesome. Sleepy little puppy? Hold on. Look, Wilson. Say goodbye to the camera. 